Welcome back to Paramedic Project. Thanks for joining us once again. Today, episode on IV fluid lines, my tips how to secure those lines. So let's get straight to it. Let's look at what I've done here. First of all, you'll note that there are three or two loops of actual IV fluid line before we reach our IV cannula. This just means there's a whole lot of slack there in case this hose catches on something. One of those slacks can pull away and we'll still maintain a pattern IV access, which is really important. It's the patient's lifeline where, can, where we can administer the drugs and fluids if required. So first of all, we've got some slack. Second of all, we've still got access to the actual port on the IV fluid line, which means we can administer some drugs down that port. So that's really important. Third of all, uh, you can see that I have used tape to secure the line. And that's my personal preference. I like tape. It means that I can see the actual line, the line's not covered up. I can see if there are any kinks in the line that I need to fix. And it's really easy for me to troubleshoot any problems uh, with tape. It means I can remove it really quickly as well if I need to. Now saying that, there are some patients we can't use tape for. They might be too sweaty uh, to actually get the tape to stick, for example, in which case we need to use a bandage. In that case, I like to use a normal bandage. I like to wrap that IV fluid line loosely in the same form with those, uh, with those loops of slack on the length. And I always like to leave my IV site uncovered. Obviously, we've got our dressing over the IV site, but I don't like to bandage up over that if at all possible. That just means that I can see if there's any bleeding at that site or if there's any extravasation of IV fluids underneath the skin. So that's another really important point. Final point I want to share with you is if we don't need to have this attached to that IV cannula, then I think it's a really good idea not to have it there. Now, any hose attached to that IV cannula is just, in my eyes, a real opportunity for that to get pulled out. And we've got this big long length of hose here. It's really easy for it to catch on things, particularly when we're extricating the patient, particularly when we're loading and unloading the patient in the ambulance, particularly when we are transferring the patient between the ambulance stretcher and the hospital stretcher. So during those times, and in general, if we're not actually administering IV fluids, just don't have this hose attached at all. The most important thing is that we've got pattern IV access and that is well protected. And the best way for that to be protected is for this not to be attached. So in Paramedic Project, thanks for joining us once again. Find us on social media. We'll see you next time.